Hi everyone, this is your SAC Librarian, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to find a scholarly article at the SAC Library. First, you're going to navigate to the library homepage, which is alamo.edu slash SAC slash library. Once you're here, you're going to scroll down on this page, and you're going to look to your right for these rectangular buttons. You're looking for the one that says Find Articles. So once you're there, click on Find Articles, and this will give you a listing of all of our databases written uh, alphabetically with their description. You could go through each of these and read the description, or you could begin with the uh, drop-down menu for the All Subjects. I always recommend that you start with an all-topic database, but you could also go to a specific database, for example, uh, databases that only have articles specific to education or English or uh, criminal justice. Now, as you begin with all topics, it's going to give you another list. As you can see, there's 65, but I always recommend that you begin with Academic One File. Here, you click on that title. It will open the database, Gail Academic One File. I always use an advanced search. Put in your keywords, such as student, and college and of course this will vary depending on what you're interested in and maybe i'm looking at gpa or grade point averages so i want it to be a scholarly peer-reviewed journal article so use these search limiters click the full text peer-reviewed journals and if your professor has told you that the article that you find cannot be more than a certain age you know, like can't be more than five years old then you can say anything published after 2018. Then you begin your search. Once you're there, you get 128 academic journal articles. You can filter your results some more using these different boxes, or you could scroll through and find the one that is most interesting to you. So once you find that article, you can click on the title. You can read it here on the screen. You can change the font size. You can change um, the color of the background. You can use an, a dyslexic font, open dyslexic, or you can have it read to you and you can listen to it. At the top, you'll see uh, more tools for citing, sending it to yourself through email, downloading, and printing. Thanks for listening.